Good morning everyone. I get to go do a COVID test right now. And hopefully this time my uh, camera does not screw up. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right, all three, one, two, three. It's like a... There you go. It's quick, but it's... It's like a sting. Well, that was fun. Best way to describe it is like when you're like younger and you jump into like a, a pool really quick and that burning sensation that goes like way up into your your brain yeah that's pretty much what it felt like it's quick though it's just the twisting once they start twisting that's actually when it really starts kind of being a little painful I forgot my phone so I gotta go meet up with Allie real fast and then I gotta go do whatever the heck I gotta do I guess get my Hannibal Lecter face mask from a mask to another mask right now but that was actually not too bad uh, to get that on it's kind of like I'm trying to think of like the comparison you know like those like things where it's like the, the you put your face on that you get those flat needle things or pins and it kind of morphs your face that's kind of like what it is I mean it's not but I mean it's like kind of what the idea is it's like this weird kind of like soft plastic then it hardens to your face and guess what I get to keep it after. Yay! We're gonna have a fun day of like burning that thing and just ripping it apart and smashing it. But that was pretty painless. They just did a quick CT scan. They're really, really nice. And now I'm gonna go see uh, what the girls are doing. This is the best part. Go through that whole crap and it kinda sucks, but then get to go over here and see Remy and Allie playing with the ducks. Makes me feel a little bit better. You know what's actually kinda funny? This is actually more obnoxious than that thing, that Hannibal Lecter thing over my face. What do you got? Thank you for putting it back. She took my sticker. You want to keep it? Yeah? Is that where it goes? Yeah, right there. Thank you, big girl. You can play with it if you want. Just don't eat it. Isn't that kind of cool? Those are all your ducks over there? Oh, you want to go say hi? Let's go say hi to the ducks. Oh, is that one coming around? Oh, look at this. He was looking for you. Do you see him? He's looking at you. Say hi, squirrel. Okay, let's go look at the ducks. Hi, ducks. Hi, ducks. Hi, duck. That wave is the cutest wave in the world. Oh no, they're over there. Look, at it. they're going for her. No, because they have food. He started it. There's little babies right there. It's like the Marley of ducks. Hey, hey, listen, keep our distance. <laughs> Run, Charles, it's gonna be Quack. <laughs> That's the word about the other ones, is these guys are a little rough. Hey, 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 keep your distance, Marley. Oh, whoa, okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here, now we're in danger zone. We got attacked by these ones, kid. Oh, what, didn't you? Look at this little duck. Oh, what happened to you, buddy? Yeah, good catch. What is it, Remy? So we gotta get out of here. I'm a little frightened by all these birds. Remy's loving it. They're babies, that's why. They're little, those are what those are. They're babies. The baby ducks? The baby ones are these. Hey. They're all little babies. There you go. There you go. Look at all the other ducks in the background there. There you go, baby. See them all? 
guys, you already got some. Quack, quack. Right, let's go, Tar. We gotta get out of here. Uh, we gotta Please run. This, baby. We gotta bolt. Bye, right, guys. I'll see you later. We'll see you Bye, ducks. Bye-bye. Now on to the next part of the day. So I got everything done that I needed in Tampa. Like basically my MRI so they can see. There's a lot of setup stuff and I'll have to sit down and talk to you guys a little, like once we get home because I gotta read a tremendous amount of these the pamphlets then I can explain it to you. But I have to get my blood work done and then I have to get another MRI because they have to use that to map out what's in my head or actually what's not in my head anymore. That's how we're gonna look at it. What's not in my head. There's like no one here. I've never been here when there's no one here. It's usually packed. And I can only imagine it being the whole like distance thing. That would be even more packed. We are at stop number two for Char's um, appointments today. And so Remy and I are just hanging out and chatting and we're reading books. It's about 4.18, so it's been a long day. We got his schedule for radiation and it's really interesting. This was something that slightly surprised me, believe it or not, was how long the radiation treatments are themselves. So Tara, I know, is gonna talk to you about it in more detail so he can kind of tell you exactly what they told him because we haven't actually really had a chance to talk too much because we went right from his first appointment to his second appointment. The good thing is that he doesn't start till after his birthday. I think they gave him that option, which is really wonderful. He's gonna just kick this thing's butt and I know he's gonna do really, really well with it and when he needs to take it easy, he's gonna take it easy and um, he's gonna prep himself for all this, so. Are you gonna help with daddy? Yes. What is, oh, is, it, is that space? What color is that? Is that blue? What color is this? Can you tell everyone? Is that blue? Blue? Her car seat's so disgusting. For being so good, while dad had to do all these things, we got your little whipped cream. Guess what season it is? Pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, but I didn't get a pumpkin spice latte. All right, Remy, this is the last bit of whipped cream, but this is your treat. Got very little sugar. There we go. We learned our lesson. Yeah, she had some ice, ice cream yesterday as a dessert. A like a little bites. tiny bit. We had a frosty. And she went psychotic. Like insane. So she was fine, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. In the three in the morning, insane. Like she was ready to run a marathon. And you know what was so funny? It's like the whole day yesterday, I don't think she really had anything sweet. She had a straw, like a couple strawberries and some blueberries. But besides that, I don't think she had Quite anything. literally any sugar. And then we gave her like three bites, maybe more. Yeah, it was like three or four bites of, of, and of she frosty. Was, she got real crazy and then she went to sleep and she woke up at two in the morning and went insane. Up for like two to four and she kept going dog, 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 <laughs> dog, dog, and then clapped dog, 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 dog. Oh, yeah, there was the clapping. Dad, 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 dad. I, I kind of tried to ignore her a little bit. <laughs> The thing is, if I ignore her for a little bit, she'll stop. she'll stop. But the entire time, the yeah, she wanted to play with me. I was on my side, and all of a sudden, I hit this here, dad, 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 and she's like pushing on me, dad, dad, dad. And then I looked at her, and then she stopped. Right? Did I go home? So you your pups? <coughs> yeah. Camera. Turtle. Where are you going? Flying, baby! <laughs> Go play. Yeah. yeah. Go get cousin. Yeah, let's do this. Come here, buddy, too. Good. You gonna go play? Yeah? This is a butt. <laughs> Obviously back at home and I just got off a business call. I actually did want to tell you guys what happened today because obviously you saw a bunch of clips so you kind of saw everything that actually we went I went through today. First off I had to do the uh, the mask. Actually I had to do the COVID test which was it's it's not fun but it actually is not the worst thing in the world. It does honestly when the people say it feels like they touched your brain it really feels like it's like up here and stuff like that. And plus, when you get the cotton thing twisting, it's a little bit of burning. It's not as bad as I think a lot of people think it is. It's just 
slightly painful, more uncomfortable. But then I had to go get the, uh, the face mask, which is gnarly. That thing was actually really uncomfortable because I'm not a person that gets like really claustrophobic or anything like that, but like an MRI, so you usually can zone out. But this was interesting because it felt like, like when I say this, it felt like um, being stuck in a spider web. Like, you know, like when you walk through a spider web, you just get all over your face. That's kind of like what it is because I was opening my eyes and the thing was keeping my eye down. Very interesting uh, feeling. I guess that wasn't too bad. It's just very intimidating. You guys really paid attention to the clip, how intimidating it actually looks, but it's not as bad. But apparently what that does is it keeps my face and my head still so that they're able to do the zapping. <laughs> I call it a zapping. They're able to go in the right spot every single time so that way they're not having to set up every single time um, making sure that they have to adjust to where my head may have slipped or something like that so it's actually really nice and that's what this comes in i wanted to show you guys my schedule it's a lot actually the setup is like pretty insane like as far as like they have to like make sure the laser well, actually i have no idea i didn't actually get that far into asking, asking questions because my my head was in a different headspace from what i understand the setup process like getting it the all aligned and everything takes way longer than the actual z z itself <laughs> on the schedule right here and i'm going to show it to you guys because the first few are going to suck because it's like 5 p.m at night 6 p.m at night 7 p.m at night obviously i don't know what to expect and i guess it's good to start off this way because then i can just go home and like sleep and i don't have to go through the day you know going through it here let me show you this so this is pretty much the 33 treatments that I have to do. And I end up on the 26th of October is my last day. But that's insane, it's very daunting. But you see what I'm saying? It's like the first one's 30 minutes, then 15 minutes each. What I'm trying to say is, got my schedule, now I just have to kind of get my mindset and mentally prepare for everything. Oh, and before I actually do forget, yesterday's video I noticed a few comments of people ragging on me for my little, uh, Homer Simpson sprinkle donuts because they're pink and to them I just have to say mmm <laughs> I'm a child I know you can't knock them operation get Remy back to sleep so I had like this weird deja vu for some reason when Char went on that first big tour and Remy was like three months old or we coincidentally were getting our pool dug at the same time so we had a big hole in our backyard and the fence was down I had to walk the dogs extra to go oh sorry so I had to walk the dogs extra to go to the restroom and obviously I had to bring Remy with me and I'd either carry her in this carrier, another carrier or wrap her. But she was so tiny that I can remember I'd fold this down and her head was still just, it was like barely above this. <laughs> and look at her now. She's hungry, sorry, she's really hungry. But it was, I would have She's just a little monster me. on and your stomach. And she was so little, like her little legs barely hung out. I had to unzip it so much. And now she's just this, she's a toddler. She's like a little koala. Life has just changed. So much over the past 14 months, it really kind of blows my mind. It went by way, way too fast. I don't, I don't even feel like I've been able to really accept it. If that makes sense. Yeah, considering how big that. Look at that little foot. She's That's huge. not even little anymore. She's a big girl. Come Zoe, we got to catch up to Diesel. Captain Wiggles back here. Fun little thing that happened today. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm missing some things in my head right now. I have just uh, giant holes. I had to take the. Um, the plugs out because of the fact they had to do the face mask in the CT scan and I left them. What do you think? Allie thinks I should keep them. Should I let them go back or should I uh, replace them? I think they would close up a good amount just because they're not that that big. So what do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Uh, close them up or uh, let them re or replace them. Remember how yesterday I was talking about how we have our favorite clips of the dogs for National Dog Day, and one of them was the whole like, do you just want to go for a walk, and they all kind of uh, bark up, per uh, per bark up, or perk bark up. up. <laughs> I said bark up. One of you guys actually found a GIF, not a GIF, a GIF version of it. Unfortunately, it has no audio, but I converted it to video. And I want to show you which one I'm talking about. So this is the other notoriously famous, awesome clip that Allie and I always refer to with the dog. So on that note, enjoy the clip. I will see you guys later in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great night. Bye.